Brittany. Um, I'm just cleaning up the mess after recording. Um, I do have a few more video, or a few. I actually only have like two more videos. I don't even think I can do two more videos, to be honest. Because I was going to do like a lipstick kind of thingy with them where I kind of was like, oh, let's go through Blackheart's lipstick. But then Blackheart, or then Hot Topic decided not to send them all to me, so it's kind of like in the wings waiting. I have to see if I can order some of the other ones or pick them up in store. And then I have the liners that I could do, but then I already did my eyeliner, so... These both black heart. No, this is Beauty Treats, and this one is black heart. Uh, so, I just wanted to talk. I, uh, I probably won't even edit this video. So, if you see, like, a lot of pauses and a lot of me's going umsies and making weird jokes, <laughs> or looking at the viewfinder because I have a horrible habit of that, um, it's probably because it was unedited. And I kind of just wanted to talk. I guess this might be a vlog. I thought about vlogging before. Never really got, never really like dove into it and did it. So, also, if I, uh, if you're seeing this video, chances are I am uploading this literally right after I finish recording it. So, this is me on today's date, which is September 29th. So if you see an extra video on September 29th, because I just posted a video yesterday, Thursday, yeah, today's Friday, because I was a day late, sorry, don't be mad, um, then yeah, you got an extra video this week, just because I wanted to talk. I mentioned them in my other videos that I just finished recording, I just finished recording my subscription video, which should be out Sunday, and I recorded the beginning of the powder one, which... You have no idea what I'm talking about because I mentioned it in a Hot Topic haul that has not seen the light of day yet. Because <laughs> I'm behind on videos. Way behind. And I feel like, uh, it's not my husband's fault. He was editing videos, but he was kind of editing them like, oh, this one's really good, let's put this one out. And it was like, I have older videos that are still like in queue. So, it is what it is. I know a lot of other YouTubers record in advance. I do as well because um, I have a lot that goes on in a day. I don't really have time every single day to sit and record. I usually will uh, find, when I do find time, I have to do them in large spurts, like record three or four videos in a day, and it takes all day to record. And then my husband will go and edit them, and then they get uploaded. So, it's a process. It's just a process. And, but anyways, a lot of videos that might be coming out in the future might be um, pre-recorded. So, if you don't like pre-recorded videos, I'm sorry. That's how I have to do things. Um, I do say I'm a lot. <laughs> so, yes, when you see this white hair, know that it is recent videos that I've recorded. I think I have one, maybe two more Hot Topic videos that I do have to put out. You guys seem to really like those a lot. And I like that you like those a lot because it lets me go shopping. <laughs> it lets me buy some of the items that, you know, I've been looking at that I've really wanted. I, you know, I just, I was thinking the other day, I never, I bought, I don't know if I ever talked about it. I bought the, um... Maybe it's in a video that hasn't been posted yet. Maybe this is, like, in the future. Uh, I bought the Beauty and the Beast long coat, and I don't think I have ever shown it to you guys. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you right now because I'm not really going to... Be, I don't want to get up and go do stuff. Because um, I just kind of want to record and talk to you and just talk to you. I like talking to you guys. Um... I know that comments have started to pick up a lot lately, and I love it. I love when you guys leave comments for me and I can talk to you guys. Um, it's fun. It's like talking to strangers, and but people that literally, if you've spent the time to leave me a comment, 
it's because you genuinely enjoyed spending time with me. And I don't know. I like that. I like that you guys like to spend time with me. I don't have a lot of friends. I, um, I'm a very outgoing person when I get to know people, but I tend to be an introvert. I tend to keep to myself. I, I have a lot of quirks about me. Um, I like to dance randomly. I will sing random things like sentences. You should see me in the morning getting my kids ready for school. I will like sing good morning songs or makeup songs like I'm putting on your black sock, things like that. <laughs> just random stuff. Um, and I'm just, um, I'm very bubbly and I have a lot of energy to me and a lot of people don't like that. It takes a special person to bond with me. And, uh, I feel like if you guys have stuck around to the end of a video and you've left comments and you want to communicate with me, that you are either the same as me or you just... You're one of those random people. Like, I have a friend, her name is Michelle, and she's nothing like me. Like, she's not crazy like me. She's very mature. I, I'm i like a kid in a candy store every single time I leave the house. Like, the world is my candy store, and I am a child 24-7. Um, she's not like me, but she loves my personality. She loves being around me because I'm never boring. I am never, like, I'm always everywhere. It, it takes a special person when they're not the same personality to put up with mine. Like, trust me. I know. It takes a very special person. My husband is a very special person who will put up with my crap. Because I put him through a lot. Um, yeah. I will randomly poke him in the car and I mess with him. And it takes, a, like I said, I am a child. Child through and through. Um, and it takes a special person to bond with me or to like me, and we are all special people. Um, I guess I find those people special personally just because it relates to me. It doesn't mean you're not special if you can't put up with my crap. You're special to someone else. You're just not special. Well, if you can't put up with my crap, I mean, why are you watching me? Because I put my crap out there. I don't, I believe in individuality. I mean, I have two girls and they're very much like me. My son, not so much. I have three kids. I have two girls and a boy. I have a 12 year old. I have an eight year old, nine year old. I'm bad with numbers. Don't hate me. <laughs> um, and I have a seven year old, I think. No, I know he's seven. I'm trying to think. I think my uh, my uh, my middle one just my middle daughter just turned nine. It's <sighs> she's just small. She's a very tiny little girl, and sometimes you look at her and my son and her are like the same size. So I get, oh, you have twins. No, they're two years apart. <laughs> I love them all so much, but uh, no, um, they have very different personalities. Catherine, my oldest, is more of my wisdom-filled side. Like, I can be extremely serious and extremely wise, and I give great advice. Um, I'm, I have, like, I've always been much older mm, mentally? Not really. <laughs> because I act like a, it's like... A, I'm a contradiction. I am very wise for my age, and I have a very old mentality to me, an old soul to me, and that's Catherine. And then you have Emmy, who is the child unicorn, wants to play in the store, will ride on ride-ons in the store side of me. I'm like, I'm a, my personality is like here and there and over here and over there and everywhere. Um, so, she's that side of me, and my son, he's just, he's an, he's an individual. <laughs> he doesn't really take care, take after any of my specific personalities, but, um, he's a boy. He's a rough and tumbling boy. He's the one that wants to jump around on furniture and stuff like that, and not me. I don't jump around on furniture. I read. A lot. You can see by the books. And that's Catherine. We have this love for literature. 
I could read, I, when I get into reading mode, I can read an entire book in a day. I will just sit there. I mean, I have to do stuff, so I'm not a super fast reader, but I will get through, I can get through an entire book in a day if I put my mind to it, and I just, I love reading, so, um, yeah, I'm just, if you came to this vlog hoping to get insight into a specific topic, um, you're not going to get it here. Because I'm just rambling. I'm just talking. I'm not really ready to stop the cameras rolling. I just want to talk to you. That's all. So, yeah. But now I've run out of things to talk about. Hmm. I'm hoping my rainbow hair will be back here soon. My hair is curly today. And it is flattening. I have thinner hair, so it never stays anyway. But my rainbow should be back soon. I'm going to bleach this mop of mine one more time. And then I'm going to wait a few weeks and put the actual final color that I want to keep in my hair. In my hair. And then do the rainbow again. Because I want my rainbow back. I miss it. I miss it a lot. Um. Yeah. I really hope that I put this video up. I have no idea if I will. I feel like now I'm in a spot where I just can't think of anything to say. And that is saying a lot. Because Brittany always has things to say. I always have thoughts running through my head. Like this candle. Have you guys ever you gotten, um, what are these? The Fragrant Jewels candles? I got this one. I actually got two of these for my birthday. Um, my friend... Uh, Michelle, or the one I mentioned, she, sorry, the sticker bugs me. Oh, that would bug me more. We got it. Um, she bought me the set, because she knows that I love unicorns, obviously. Um, she bought me the set that came with a candle and a bath bomb, and I lit the candle, and then I got mad because I didn't want to burn it. And then she, um, she had bought two of these. She bought one for me, and she bought one for her daughter. And so her daughter was like, her daughter is my, uh, friends with, that's how I met her. Uh, she's friends, her daughter is friends with Amelia, my middle child. And, um, she brought it over. As you can see, I didn't like it. Because she didn't want that. She just wanted the bath bomb. She got her bath bomb, and she's like, Brittany can have my candle. I don't need no candle. So I'm like, good. I'll take your candle. That way I have one that's unlit. And, uh, the jewels that came out were really pretty. They're like this rainbow jewel, but it's not really, I mean, you could tell that this was fabricated. The rainbow effect on it is fabricated. It wasn't a naturally rainbow color shifting, um, jewel in it. So, yeah, I really liked it. And then I got this box here. I like this box. I actually got this at the Goodwill for like two bucks or something like that. Let me know, let me know if you guys want to see like a haul. Because I do go to the Goodwill a lot. I love going in there. It's where I actually got this sweater that I'm currently wearing from. Because I go in there and I love like it's getting cold out. I like really um, like chunky knit sweaters. And the Goodwill is a good place to go to find them. Because... They have a ton of them. And I think I got this one for like three bucks. So, I buy my clothes from everywhere. I am not a clothing snob. I don't care if my shirt cost $600 or my shirt cost $6. Five cents. Nickel. Dime. Don't matter. I don't care. I'm more about like, if I like it, I'll buy it. And I'll wear it. Just, if you buy stuff from the thrift store wash them when you get home, and it's completely fine. I actually, um, I told my daughter, my oldest, Catherine, um, that I like buying jeans from the thrift store, because when you get a pair of jeans from the thrift store, like, they have been through the ringer. You know whoever had them before you, because nine out of ten people do not take care of their jeans. Hell, I don't even take care of my jeans the way you're supposed to. You're not supposed to dry them. You're not supposed to wash them as often. I wash my jeans every time I wear them, and I dry them, and that's just how I live my life, okay? 
But when you buy clothes from the thrift store, jeans especially, when you get home, the jeans that you tried on, that's how they're going to fit after you wash them. And I love that. Like, I hate when you get home and you buy a pair of jeans and you don't take care of them because you're me and you don't listen to nobody when they say, hey, don't wash and dry those. And you do it anyway because it's your life. You gonna lead it. And, um, you can throw them in the wash and they're going to come out fitting just the way you put them on, the way you tried them on. I love that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite parts. They're already broken in. You don't have to worry about that. Because, like, the other day, I went to Rue, and, well, not the other day, it was, a, like, a week ago. I went to Rue, and I bought a pair of jeans, and I, they were a little bit loose. They didn't have any size sizes smaller. Now, I'm five feet tall, and I am about 130 pounds, and I wear a size five in Junior's jeans, because I buy Junior's jeans because I'm short, and... I wear, like, a size small, I mean, I could fit into an extra small, I prefer a size small, um, but I don't really care about the sizes of my shirts, like, this shirt's a medium, I think. I buy oversized shirts all the time, sizes to me don't matter when it comes to, like, anything, to be honest, because, like I said, and, like, just, like, the same with, like, the number on the scale, it doesn't matter, um, a few months ago, I was at a size 10 or 11 or 9. I don't know what size I was at. And I started, I, at, um, when my husband was deployed, my weight dropped down to about 106. I was a size 2. Or, yeah, I was size 2. And when he got back, I started slowly gaining weight again. Uh, it wasn't because I was stressed or anything like that. It was just a fluke, really. I don't know why I lost so much weight so quick. It, I wasn't stressed out at, at all. I mean, my husband was gone, yes, and it was unfortunate that he couldn't be here, but, um, I wasn't really stressed. Uh, so, I dropped weight, though, and then when he got back, I slowly started gaining it back, and last month I was like, you know what, I need to shed a few pounds because I really wanted to fit in my a pair of my Laguna Beach jeans and they didn't fit my favorite pair of gray skinny jeans and I'm like I want to fit in those again I probably will never fit in those again because I am muscular <laughs> that is my issue now I do an hour of cardio every day and I do 30 minutes of strength training every single day um and, well, I'm sorry, I don't do strength training on the weekends. I just do um, an hour, between an hour, hour and a half of cardio on those days. Um, so, so I do strength training five days a week. And um, I'm not going to fit. Now, my calves are so muscular. But, uh, yeah, I, I started off because I was at 135. And I was like, you know what, I need to lose some weight. My jeans aren't fitting anymore. I want to fit back into my jeans again. And so I started doing the cardio. I started, I went from doing 30 minutes of strength training and 30 minutes of cardio to doing an hour of cardio and 30 minutes of strength training. And um, the scales went down 5 pounds. But my size has gone down significantly. So it just goes to show that, I mean, when they say muscle weighs more than fat, it does, but... Um, a lot of the times you will thin out, but you don't, the scale won't go down. So I've never really taken any too much stock into what the scale tells me, to be honest. Um, or what my size is. I mean, you can be healthy at any size. I don't know. I've always tried to preach body acceptance. Um, I do have two girls, so, I mean, that could probably influence the reason why I do that. I want them to love their bodies for what they are. Um, Emmy is very petite, very tiny, very skinny. Um, Catherine is more like me, where we've got curves, and um, I grew up with her body. I know how it feels to be her, and it breaks my heart that she 
I guess I now feel know how my mother felt when I was growing up and I would always look at myself and be like this is not the perfect body this is not what I want to be and uh, that's where she's at and it's unfortunate because she's beautiful everybody's beautiful at any size at any weight the numbers don't matter. Numbers are just a construct of society. They're trying to make you feel as though the, the lower the number, the better you are. And I mean, I get it. They want, I, sometimes, I mean, they do have to size things. But, I don't know. This whole mentality that lower numbers means better is wrong. Because I weigh 130 pounds now. And I feel better about my body now than I did when I was 106 when my husband got back because I had no strength. I didn't have muscle. I wasn't toned. I was just small. And I like the way my body is now that I have muscle on it. And I might weigh more, but I feel better. And I feel as though I'm more beautiful now than I was then um, because of that. So, I mean... If you are struggling with body issues or anything like that, change your life. If you feel as though you are overweight, I mean, it's you should love your body in any size. I mean, because losing weight isn't going to change your mind. Your mind doesn't lose anything when you shed pounds. So if you don't love your body at any size, no size is going to be good enough for you. Nothing is. You need to learn self-acceptance and self-love um, because losing weight is just will be a constant struggle for you until you learn to love you for you. And if you feel as though you... I would say the only reason that I would want you to lose weight or if, to tell... For, I, I wouldn't say for you to lose weight. I should say that the only way that I'm willing to tell you, hey... Go out there and work out and go out there and do something about it. Is if you feel unhealthy. If you feel as though that you aren't your best. And you know that you can do more. You know you can make yourself better. Then do it. Just do it. I mean, you don't have to drop 50 pounds to be a better person. You could drop, hell, I dropped 5 pounds and I feel amazingly better. I feel like I've done something. I feel stronger. I feel like I've, like, I made myself a better person because I'm healthier now than I was. And I only dropped five pounds. But, I mean, I've dropped a lot of pant sizes, too. But that's because I'm strength training, and I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing it for anyone else. I mean, my husband doesn't care. He loved me after I gave birth to our son and I was, when I gave birth to Kyle Jr., I was 106, or I'm sorry, 206, around 206, 209, I don't remember exactly. I was over 200 pounds when I went into the hospital to give birth to him, and when I left, I was still like 198, so I gave birth to an 8-pound baby, and I didn't lose, I don't even think I, I might have lost 8 pounds, uh, but, um, so, and he had no issue with my size. So, it was, it's not for him. It's for me. I wanted to be healthier. I'm getting up there in age. I'm not telling you how old I am. I might have told you before, but I'm not telling you again. But, um, definitely not as old as I act. Because <laughs> I act like a child most of the time. Um, but, if you... Can you see my knee? Knee. Me. Hello, me. Hello, me. <laughs> if there's something about yourself that you want to change, and it is something that is something... There's a lot of somethings in that sentence. If it is something that is easy for you to accomplish, it could be something as easy as walking upstairs instead of taking the elevator to your apartment. Small steps are steps. I don't believe in the whole everybody saying, like, you need to do more. That's not going to get you anywhere. It's like, no. Walking up those stairs is one thing that I wasn't doing yesterday. And it's something that I did today. And it is an accomplishment, no matter how small. It is an accomplishment. And you should reward yourself. And 
be happy at all the accomplishments that you do. Big, small, you lost a pound, you lost a hundred, you went down a pant size, you didn't change at all, but now, you know, carrying that five pound bag of cat litter, that ain't nothing now to what it was last week or last month. Those are accomplishments. And I don't know, don't set yourself up for failure. Don't expect that you are going to go and lose 30 pounds this month because that's your goal. Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't set, you know, high standards. Set small, simple tasks. Look at what you want to do now and do it. And then eventually you will see a change. Things will start to get better. You will, you will make, you'll meet goals. Make, make realistic goals is what I should say. Make realistic goals for yourself. I don't know how I got on this topic. This is like a rabbit hole that I could fall into and talk hours for because I do have girls and I don't like the way that, oh, sorry, I hit my back, cracked my back. Um, I don't like the way that the world is moving. I don't like how focused people are on their looks and beauty and here I am, you know, talking about makeup on a daily basis and saying how I hate the world of beauty. It's not that. I love makeup. Makeup is a form of self-expression. Makeup is one of those things that you can do and it can change everything. And it can make somebody who is insecure feel good about themselves, which is an amazing thing. Even if it is just more on the physical side. I can't think of the word that I'm looking for right now. But um, even if it's small, it's making someone feel good and seeing a smile on someone's face is always worth it. But beauty, makeup to me, like I was saying, makeup to me is more of a form of self-expression. I love playing with it. It's like art. Like today, I used... Uh, I did a video on these. You might not see them yet. But I played with this Unicorn Glow thing from, or highlight palette from Rue. And I wanted to play with this, co this color, the Ice Queen one. And I've just been into like rose reds and dusty roses and stuff like that. So I played with it today. And this is what I got out of it. So anyways, I've been babbling for like... I keep looking over at my screen because I'm seeing how much time I have left and I have a minute. <laughs> Which means I've been on here for 28 of them. Going. Anyways. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I just wanted to talk to you. Um, just to talk. Leave me comments. Talk to me. So I can talk to you. And we can just be talky, 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 talky. Because that's fun. Um, Alright. Well, I love you all, you beautiful unicorns. Beautiful, beautiful, just the way you are. Don't think you have to change. I love you just the way you are. All of you. Boy, girl, man, woman, baby child. I love you all. So. Mwah.